cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, this the intro. Talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you also follow me on all my social media platforms to stay connected with all Keek on the Mic news. So, Bears fans, the Chicago Bears are now done with both OTA and minicamp practices, and now they get a nice little break until they return uh, in late July for the start of training camp. During this break, Ryan Poles, Matt Bierfluss, and the rest of the Chicago Bears coaches will now get a chance to discuss where they might need to add some help to the roster before coming back for the start of training camp. One area that we need to address, and I think this we all know this already, we've had many conversations about this I'm right here on Kicking the Mic, is the edge rusher position. We all know this, Bears fans. The Chicago Bears defensive line last season was absolutely putrid. As a unit, as a collective unit last season, they only accounted for 20 sacks. Yes, 20 sacks. They were absolutely terrible last season. We all know that the edge rusher position going into the offseason was a was a definitely a position of need. And to make matters worse of that 20 sack season as a collective unit last season, that was absolutely putrid. The sack leader for the defense last year was rookie safety Jaquan Brisker with four sacks. That is not good news to hear, Bears fans, when your rookie safety was your sack leader. So, yeah, needless to say that the edge rusher position for the Chicago Bears was needing to be addressed going to the offseason. The good news is that Ryan Poles did add a little bit to the edge rusher position by adding Demarcus Walker, which he had a career um, high seven sacks last season. And they also added Rasheem Green as well. And they also have Travis Gibson and Dominique Robinson returning, but didn't address the position in the NFL draft. They opted to go on the interior defensive line and they opted not to draft an edge rusher in this year's NFL draft. Needless to say that edge rusher um, is still a very big gaping hole for the Chicago Bears defense. But according to head coach Matt Eberflus, via an interview with usatoday.com, he stated that the Bears were still in the market for edge rusher help during minicamp. He had this to say. Yeah, I think they're always looking for all positions, Eberflus said. You know I think that is one position we are looking at and potentially we could get that done. Bears fans, this is great to hear, but to me, it's not surprising whatsoever. Ryan Poles is always looking for ways um, to upgrade and improve the Chicago Bears roster. And personally, I think it's a great idea to add at least one more veteran pass rusher um, through either free agency or even the via the trade market as well. And even though I did like the additions of both Demarcus Walker and Rasheem Green, I do think they will help the Chicago Bears defense align maybe by a little bit. Um, but I personally still feel like this Chicago Bears defense line overall is still a little bit unproven. Think about Bear, think about it, Bears fans. When you look at this current edge rushers on the Chicago Bears roster, they are mostly unproven. First of all, Travis Gibson. He had a huge year in 2021, seven sacks, five forced fumbles. He was absolutely dominant for the Chicago Bears defense. But at the same time, he also had Robert Quinn on the other side of this defensive line, really helping him out, taking the pressure off of him. In 2022, once Quinn was traded away and gone, and he only had Dominique Robinson on the other side, he really struggled. He only had three sacks and he had zero four fumbles. The production definitely wasn't there um, for Travis Gibson, and it caused a lot of concerns um, amongst Bears fans. I know that I reported earlier um, in this offseason that the Chicago Bears did say, in fact, that if he has a bounce back year, um, that they could be looking to extend Travis Gibson. Um, but to me, He's still pretty unproven. He had that one good season, but then when he didn't have that other dominant edge rusher on the other side of him, he really struggled. The pressure was too big for him. And I'm not saying that he can't have a bounce back year, um, but Gibson really needs to prove this season um, that he can be dominant, first of all, and that he can actually be consistent. I'm hoping that he can get back um, to that 2021 form. And I think he has all the possibility to do that. I know that he's put a lot of work into this offseason. But now he has to come out and prove it. So at this point, 
Uh, to me, Travis Gibson still has a lot of possibility to be good this season for the Chicago Bears, but he's still very unproven. The next guy you look at, Dominique Robinson, he's going into his second season. He had a sack and a half um, in his rookie year where he had all that sack and a half in his first game against San Francisco 49ers, and then he went absolutely silent. And you can't really blame a guy like Dominique Robinson because um, he is still developing as a player. This will only be, what, his third year um, playing the DM position. So we knew when we drafted Dominique Robinson that it was going to be um, that developmental phase. The coaches have really got to work hard. Um, with him to teach him how to play the position the right way in the NFL. So there's definitely going to be that learning curve. Dominic Robinson is another guy that's put in a lot of work. He has a lot of confidence going into the season. Um, his goal is to have at least 10 sacks this season. He said it himself. Um, I'm hoping he can reach that goal, but I think even him getting six or seven sacks, maybe even five sacks, would be a really productive year. I'm um, going to step in the right direction for a guy like Dominic Robinson. So I know the Chicago Bears are excited about him going into year two, but once again, he is still an unproven player um, that still needs to prove it prove himself in the NFL. Then you look at one of the Bears' new additions in Rasheem Green. Like I mentioned, I really like the addition of Rasheem Green, but ultimately, I do think he does make this defensive line better. He had six, six and a half sacks in 2021, which is very productive year, um, but he only had three and a half sacks in 2022. So much like Travis Gibson, the Bears are hoping for more of that 2021 production. We need to see um, if he can have that consistent stat line of at least five or more sacks a season, right? We don't want to see seven sacks and you drop the two, right? We need consistency. We need production year in and year out. And I'm not saying he can't do it, but now he needs to go out there and prove that he can actually do it. And then the last addition of free agency was adding Demarcus Walker. I think Walker was a really good add for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. He's coming off a career high in sacks with seven, um, but it was the first time that he had five or more sacks in his NFL career. And I'm hoping that we can get last year's productions. But I think what concerns me about Demarcus Walker um, is that now he's coming here. I mean, he's going to have a bigger role, obviously, with the Chicago Bears defensive line. And I hope he doesn't have that Travis Gibson effect, right? I hope that he can build on that career high sack season that he had with the Tennessee Titans last year. And I hope he can continue um, going in a good direction, which I have a lot of confidence. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about Demarcus Walker in these early stages of Chicago Bears practices. Um, they said that he's a tone setter. I heard that he's a really good leader already in the Chicago Bears locker room. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't want to see one good year and then once again dipping down only having three sacks right um they brought him here to help this defensive line get better and i think that he is initially on paper will make this defensive line better but still he needs to go out and prove that he can consistently get these sack numbers and consistently be a force on this defensive line until then you could even call the marcus walker an unproven player on the chicago bears defensive line so bears fans i know that a lot of you guys may think i'm just being negative and just putting down the edge rushers that we currently have on this roster but personally i am just trying to be honest i do feel like the bears um have a good core of young pass rushers that have a whole lot of potential um but i feel like Every single edge rusher that we have on the roster in their own way, it's still an unproven player. But the good news is, is that once training camp comes around, we will get to see the guy, these guys more in action with pads on, with more contact. We all know that in OTAs and minicamp, there's no pads. Um, these edge rushers, offensive linemen are not allowed to um, make contact with one another. So we really don't know what we have in DeMarcus Walker, Rasheem Green, if Do Dominique Robinson has made improvements, if Trevor Gibson has made improvements. We will get to see that more um live action with pads more contact not only in training camp practices but the joint practices with the indianapolis colts in the preseason games so once we can see that then we will have a better indication on what we are actually working with but with all that being said i still think it's a great idea to add one more veteran pass rusher prior to training camp not only to bolster this group um but to maybe push these other four guys to be the best versions of themselves that they can be because at the end of the day no one's job should be safe especially on the defensive line after having 20 sacks last year right even if demarcus walker is a new player even rasheen green is supposed to be an upgrade these guys, to me, are still very unproven, but it's, so it would be very smart to bring in one, one more veteran um, that we know that will help this group out and hopefully overall help the Chicago Bears defense as well. 
And if you guys consistently watch Geek on the Mic, if you guys are consistently tuning into this channel, you guys all know that I'm a huge advocate for the Chicago Bears to go out and sign Yannick Nagagwe. He is still currently a free agent. Um, and after Frank Clark signed with the Denver Broncos, we now have an estimate of how much Yannick Nagagwe would cost. To me, if Nagagwe only costs five or six million dollars, maybe at most giving him eight million dollars for this season to play one year in Chicago, I would be absolutely all over that. I truly personally feel that Yannick Nagagwe would be a massive upgrade for the group that we currently have on the roster. I think he would be a good complement to what we already have at the edge rush position on this football team. And I think he would instantly be the best pass rusher we have on this football team as well. So when you look at a guy like Yannick, Yannick Nagagwe, and I brought up this before on past podcasts when I talked about Nagagwe, um, the last two seasons he has had 19 and a half sacks, so highly productive. Um, I know that a lot of people say he's not good against the run, um, but to me, that does not matter. We are bringing him into Chicago to be a pass rushing specialist, and that's exactly what he is. In 2021, I believe he had 10 sacks. Last season, he had nine and a half sacks. I believe he got hurt at the end of last year, so he is kind of banged up going into training camp, but he should be ready to go when training camp starts. But this dude is an absolute sack machine and would be a very good pass rusher for the Chicago Bears. Another thing about Jan Nagagwe. He is still only 28 years old. And another perk about getting Yannick Nagagwe to the Chicago Bears is that he's also played under Bears defensive line coach Travis Smith in 2021. So Bears fans, this is a match made in heaven for Yannick Nagagwe, for the Chicago Bears. He would bolster the defensive line. I think personally he would make the other edge rushers on the team a lot better as well because now not a lot of pressure will be on Demarcus Walker, Rasheem Green, Dominic Robinson or Travis Gibson. All the pressure would be on y on Yannick Ngagwe to come in and have the results that he's had the last 2 years and I feel like he would because everywhere he usually goes, he is at least getting 8 plus sacks a year. So I think it would be a perfect fit for the Chicago Bears to bring in Nagagwe on a one-year deal as I truly feel it would bolster um, to, to me this very unproven edge group we have on the Chicago Bears roster. So Ryan Poles, um, the Chicago Bears, please get this done and go out and get Yannick Nagagwe. Um, it still remains to be seen if the Chicago Bears will actually add to the position. Um, but according to Matt, Matt Eber Flues. They are constantly looking um, to upgrade the roster, and it was very well known that they're also looking in to add one more edge rusher uh, prior to training camp, so we'll have to wait and see what happens, but before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. If the Chicago Bears do, in fact, go out and add to the edge rusher position, wh which player do you want them to sign and bring to Chicago? Let me know down below in the comment section. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Geek on the Mic with every single Bears that you know. But other than that, back for all new Bears podcasts right here on Geek on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You've been listening to Geek on the Mic, a podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast thanks guys and bear down